the correct adjustment of your snare wires can make or break the sound of your drum. And I think it's something that people just ignore because they're fixated on the idea that the tuning is what's making the sound and then forget that the snare wires can completely ruin an otherwise perfectly tuned snare drum. There are several adjustments that you can make to your snare wires to improve their sound and there are lots of things to look out for to make sure that you're getting the best response and the best sound out of them and not crushing the resonance of your drum. The first thing to make sure of is that the wires are square on the head, that you have the same distance to the edge of the drum on both ends of the wires with them engaged and that they are not twisted. Take a moment and look to make sure that none of the wires themselves are bent and that there aren't any loose flapping wires that may have gotten disturbed or, or damaged when you're using your drum, moving it from different stands and stuff like that. Thing number two, what is the state of the things holding the wires on? Are these strings frayed? Are they trashed? Are they crooked? If you're using plastic straps, are they squarely in the thing that receives them or are they crooked or bent or anything like that? These can all contribute to the wires not giving you the best sound that they could. And the last thing, maybe the most obvious thing, are you over or under tensioning your wires? Nine times out of 10, when I sit down at a house kit drum or even when I just sit down at other people's drums when I hang out with them, they often have the wires very, very tight in an effort to get articulation out of the drum and get their playing to come across clearly. But what ends up happening when you do that is you take away your drum's opportunity to resonate and to send a big sound out to the audience and it'll sound very articulate where you are because you're very close to the drum. But as you get further and further away, it becomes very boxy sounding. You don't get bright articulation from the wires and no matter how hard you hit the drum, it won't get very loud because it can't take that energy that you're throwing into it with the stick. It's getting stifled, almost like someone's got their hand against the bottom head. And you can really hear that just by sitting at your snare drum, put your hand against the bottom head and hit the top head. You can hear that it's not moving. There's no resonance. This Ludwig Acrylite is tuned sort of in a medium high range. It's got a good warm note right now with the snares disengaged. I'm gonna loosen the wires so loose that they're not touching the drum head anymore. And then I'm gonna engage them and slowly bring the wires into the drum while I play slow all the way up until the drum is totally choked out. Now we'll go back the other way. It's choked out. Let's get back down to the middle. What we're looking for here is a way to get articulation in the drum and also get resonance in the drum at the same time. It's a common misconception that cranking the snare wire as tight is going to give you a good articulate sound. It's going to give you an articulate short sound, but it's also going to restrict the drum from resonating. Similarly, cranking up the bottom head tabletop tight will also give you a really short sound, but it's also going to take away resonance. And that is the battle, articulation versus resonance. And at the end of the day, I think that the best way to get articulation is to just tune the batter head up and get used to a tighter batter head because if you keep the snare side head loose enough to resonate, not loose, but loose enough to resonate and keep the snare wires to where they're flush with the head and they're on there, but they're not pressed against it, you'll get more dynamics out of your drum in a live situation and you'll be able to express yourself to the audience 
from quieter to louder and have all of it work and not have some parts of the dynamic range be good and other parts sound really terrible.